My name is Jessica Fainel, and I'm the Academic Affairs Coordinator in the Academic Affairs Office. We work with faculty and scheduling, so any questions that you have regarding um, the schedule or individual faculty members can be directed to us. So Goldie offers a variety of degree programs in business, criminal justice, English, psychology, and there's a lot more that you can find on the GBC website. Um, specifically though, we offer both associate degrees, which are two-year degrees, as well as four-year bachelor degrees. One thing that a lot of students don't realize is that they can actually do both. So a student who comes in working towards their bachelor's degree can actually pick up their associate's degree along the way. It's definitely something that you want to talk to your advisor about, um, but it's a great option for students who want to complete an associate's and a bachelor's. Um, also, all of our degrees have general education requirements, so we want students to be well-rounded in psychology, sociology, uh, math, and history. So those are some of the first courses that you'll start off with in any degree program. Hi, my name is Ryan Kwan. I work in the Financial Aid Advisement Office as one of our advisors and the Financial Aid Advisement Office Coordinator at Goldie Beacom. So advisement's pretty much where you come if you need help with anything in the classroom or with financial aid. So changing your major is common. Um, most students come in with a declared major and then end up graduating with a different major. Um, we encourage you to go to, the, go to your advisor um, or a faculty member or uh, the career services office to determine what major fits best for you. Um, then we work with you in the advisement office to make sure that you don't waste credits that don't count towards both degree programs. Um, we also have students who do a second major or a minor, that's common too. Again, just work with your advisor on that. So for our current undergrad students, there's a lot of ways you can enhance your degree. Um, students can actually do Microsoft certifications. We also offer internship opportunities. You can additionally add a minor to your degree. And then once you move into your junior and senior year, you may want to consider one of our graduate level programs. Uh, we have a three plus three law program. We offer an MBA. We also offer a Master of Arts in Counseling Psychology. And then for students who are lifelong learners and want to come back after some corporate experience, we also offer a DBA program. So families play a, gr a huge important role um, in a student determining what their major is. Some students err towards more of the finance and accounting world where we see higher earning potentials. But if that's not going to be fulfilling to you throughout your life, then that's not going to be the area you want to go into. Um, some of our other majors that students can pursue are human services, English, psychology, criminal justice. Um, those are all on the arts side of the college. Um, they have a little bit less sometimes earning potential, but can be more fulfilling than some of our higher earning degrees. Basically, it just comes down to what the student wants. Um, so working with the student to determine you know, what their life goals are, what career path that they're trying to follow. Um, that's really important for the family to play a role in. Um, we also have full-time advisors who are um, knowledgeable about different degree programs. We have a staffed career services office that can work with students to determine, you know, if I want to be an accountant, I definitely shouldn't major in psychology or criminal justice. Um, but then we have some students who do a unique combination of majors. So they could do um, an undergraduate degree, a graduate degree coupled together. Um, or two majors or a minor or different concentrations. So basically it just comes down to whatever the student wants. Um, so the college uh, tries to support students with what career path they want to take, but also the family is really important in that as well. So I think the two biggest keys to success in the classroom are respect and academic integrity. Um, respect comes up in a lot of ways. I think it's important to respect, first and foremost, the faculty member who's teaching. Um, put down your phone, pay attention in class, obviously show up, go to class, show up on time. Even if that's in person or if that's a Zoom meeting, make sure that you're there on time. Uh, also respect for your fellow classmates. I think now more than ever, it's critically important 
to stop and listen to what other people have to say, what, again, whether that's your fellow classmate or instructor, there's so much learning that begins when we start to listen to each other, even if it's a opposing viewpoint. That's where a lot of learning happens. Um, the other is academic integrity. And basically what that means is do the right thing. Do the right thing when no one is looking. So if the professor happens to leave the room during a test, don't look at someone else's paper. Don't text exam questions or answers to others and really be mindful that you're gonna get out of it what you put into it. So um, uphold those standards and that's gonna lead you far both in the classroom but also in life.